Okay, so chapter one, section one one was, what was section one one? Importance. I already covered and explained origins. origins. Origins are associated in transition from direct exchange to indirect exchange is a medium of exchange. So money originates in a society as a medium of exchange. And I already covered almost all of section three. Section three is characteristics. Characteristics of money is the same as properties. Now, I will cover, the textbook gives you five or six, I'll cover and give you a few more and try to clarify. First and foremost, the textbook says, that's on page six, heavy demand. This is the same as Marketable. You zooming in nice, a little nice zoom marking. I already explained that. Okay. Number two. Highly divisible. Again, that's on page six. Guys, guys, enough talk, okay? Please, I still hear people talk, talk, talk. All right. Number three must be portable. Societies rarely use stone or stones for paper, sorry, for money, because stones are not easy to carry. So, must be very easy to carry with you. I mean, if you can't carry it in your pocket or with you, you can't really make a payment with it, you know? You don't want to go to the shop with something big and heavy and hard to carry, okay? And if you want to buy a house and pay with stones, you will need a train full of stones. So, what does portable actually mean? Portable has one very simple characteristic. High value per weight. High value per weight. So one unit is valuable, okay? Whiskey is relatively valuable, okay? Uh, silver is a lot more valuable. Of course, gold is even more valuable. So, somehow, if it's high value per weight, you carry it with you a little bit and can make a relatively big payment, okay? One ounce of gold is worth more than $1,000, $1,300. So, 20, a pack of cigarettes worth of gold is like $20,000, okay? A lot of money. All right, so that's number three. Uh, page, 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 page seven. Well, another part, you can make it four, and that's very tricky, I'll explain now, has to be relatively scarce.
relatively scarce. In the sense that if it is not very scarce, cannot have a lot of weight. Therefore, here, nobody uses water for payment. But in the desert, where water is very scarce, water is very valuable and is used. Water is in heaven in man, is very divisible, it's very easy to carry. So water has beautiful properties in the desert because it's relatively scarce and has relatively valuable. Okay. Now, the next one is very confusing to most students. It has to be relatively abundant. Oh, how could it be? How could it be scarce and abundant at the same time? And the short answer is it should, both of them is relatively scarce and relatively abundant. This means the commodity cannot be extremely scarce. If it's extremely scarce, a lot of pe poor people will not have any of it at all. Example of extremely scarce and extremely expensive is diamonds. Okay, You just don't have enough diamonds for all poor people. Okay, But at the same time, it has to be relatively abundant so that Poor people can have a little bit of it so that they can use, okay? They can have a little.